can make as many as you want. So the reason we suture is anytime somebody has, has kind of broken the integrity of the skin, we have to help it heal so it's, uh, you reduce inflammation, you're reducing uh, the amount of infection that can happen, and you're trying to return the integrity of the skin back to normal. Um, there are some times you cannot suture. So we often don't suture when people have been bitten by dogs because we kind of want the skin to kind of do its thing because the skin has a way of, if you will, healing itself. Um, certain uh, chemical reactions take place to kind of clean things up. You, there's inflammation. You want that to, to kind of calm down. But for the most part, if you've been at home cutting bagels on Sunday morning and cut yourself, go to the ER, particularly if you can't control the bleeding, and have them sew it up. And you want to do it sooner rather than later because if it's too many hours after the cut, we can't sew it up, and you kind of have to let the body kind of heal itself. Okay, so everybody's made their incisions. We've shared blades. All right. Now, be sure once you've made your incision to retract that blade. I don't want anybody to get hurt. Okay. Okay. All right. 
We don't worry about tying it off. Not yet. So don't pull the string all the way through just yet. I just want you to take the bite. So once you get the needle, take it out. So release the needle driver and grab the tip of the needle and pull the rest out. So not the very tip, but kind of just get it in. I'm obviously not very good at this yet. It's your first time. So you can hold it like that. And just let that back in. Right? So you can take this and wrap it once, twice, and bring it down and grab the, grab the tail. And just pull it through. See, there you made your knot. Now let go again. Wrap it again. Grab it. And see, now you're making knots. Okay. Okay.